we're looking at keeping coroutines the the activity and fragment not leaking within our async so with async tasks whenever the activity or fragment is on destroy or you switch to a different activity what happens is you don't have a reference to the, that activity sometimes and sometimes you get an exception or something bad happens because you're leaking the activity into your async task so you're having a copied activity inside your async task and this is increasing your memory whenever we're referencing to get reference so one way to do that is giving it a weak reference so what i mean by that is we have as reference here and we can see what this does it just gives us the reference pretty much yeah it just gives us our reference for our main activity and when we want to use this we do dot invoke and then it dot get string, for example. Get our string. Uh, there we go. Let's see what invoke does. So when we do invoke, we get a weak reference. So just imagine this gives us the reference for our activity. Now, if that activity doesn't exist, it's going to throw a cancellation exception. And what that is going to do is, is it's going to just cancel our entire async task when that activity or fragment isn't a part of the app anymore. We don't have a, a reference to it. So this makes it a lot safer. We're not leaking any activities or fragments, which is a big problem with Android. I know I have a big problem with it. And I always use the reference.invoke the as reference. It's pretty much a weak reference. You can see it just says weak reference right there. And that's it. That's the weak reference for coroutines.